So, hey guys, we're going to do a grilled cheese tu tutorial on a George Foreman grilling machine. It's already plugged in, of course. So you're going to need for this is you're going to need bread, your choice of white or wheat, cheese. Uh, how many people do you know use white rye bread on? Well, you could use rye bread, but that didn't come to my mind. If there's any young people that are watching this and eat rye bread, go ahead and hit the get, get, hit the like button, please. Um, but um, she likes two pieces of cheese on hers. Now she's changing her mind and putting one. I had two over here for me. You okay over here, Fuss Puss? Fuss Puss is eating. I've had that warmed up a little bit. Um, it is clean as you can see. Some of it's been scratched off for me while washing it. But um, we have this little butter stuff here. One minute, I gotta pause this real quick. Okay, and once this is hot, you're gonna spray, spray. And being that we don't have a drip tray, we have a piece of paper towel, um, but this is what you're going to do next. So you're going to take your bread, being that we already lathered that up on the foreman. Take one side of the piece of bread, and it may sound weird, but spray it so it's covered. Put it on there. Open up the cheese. And when you lay down the cheese, make sure it does not go over the edge. Because it goes over the edge, and then you've got a big mess to clean up. And this piece of bread is so bad that I really can't do much with it. So it's going to probably get burned onto the thing. And then you're going to do the same thing as the other piece. It's all on there. And you just push it down. And um, there's no time straight on this. Um, you just wait until the top is golden brown, or to the likeness that you like, and you put it over on a plate. Um, yeah, I'm not going to want to put this away. As you can see, some of the butter stuff has came off already because the fact of it took me too long to put everything on the platter. See? And you get little indents in them too. It's a good way to make hobo pies. Um, on my old ch on the old channel, um, I did one with uh, Grandma making uh, hobo pies, which is basically grilled cheese with spaghetti sauce. So, go ahead and check that out. Um, probably won't be putting that in the description. You can go into my subscriptions if you're eligible to do that. If you're able to do that, and go in there and look through and find my channel, my old channel, and you might find it. I don't know. Starting to get a little golden. You like to hear that little griddle sound. And um, once in a while, open it up. I'm going to sneak the spatula in here somehow. And flip a do on occasions. Flip a do on occasions. Because some reason the top piece don't come doesn't golden it enough. <laughs> and while that's cooking, if I was supposed to sleep. No, but he got that water from. What is your problem, Dum Dum? I don't know if you can hear that, but it's sizzling. And now it's starting to get golden. It's starting to brown it. 
See, this is why I said you need to watch the cheese. Cause, there we go. Yep. It'd be cool if we could do two of them on here. I haven't been able to do two of them on here yet. But, um, we're going to finish this one up. And after it's like, mm, she likes hers a little bit more golden than that. So, continue cooking it. Continue flipping it. Um, or if you have a newer one, go ahead and just keep the lid down on it until it's golden brown like you like it. So, hope you like this how-to video. And, uh, stay tuned. Give a like for Dum Dum. Give a like for Fuss Push. He can't react to it. Give a like for Noel. And give a like for the grilled cheese.